Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things related to currency trading and investing. In today's video, I'm going to talk about one of the most controversial currencies in the world, the Iraqi dinar. First of all, you need to know that buying or selling Iraqi dinars is not like buying or selling any other currency on the global forex market A squared. You cannot trade them directly with banks or brokers who offer forex services A squared. Instead, you have to go through money exchanges who charge hefty fees for their services A squared. These fees can range from 5% to 15% depending on where you buy or sell your dinars A squared. Secondly, you need to know that buying or selling Iraqi dinars is considered a foreign currency transaction by the IRS under Section 988A cubed. This means that if you hold them as an investment asset rather than as personal use property, you will have to pay ordinary income tax on any gains or losses from your transactions A cubed. You will also have to report them on Form 8949 when you file your tax return A cubed. However, there is one thing that might make investing in Iraqi dinars more attractive, capital gains treatment. Unlike personal use property, which does not trigger any tax liability when sold at a loss, investment property can be sold at a loss without any tax consequences. This means that if you hold your Iraqi dinars long enough and they appreciate in value over time, which is very unlikely, you might be able to offset some or all of your capital losses with your capital gains. But there is a catch. Section 988 does not allow you to opt out of paying taxes on foreign currency transactions even if they qualify as investment property. This means that even if your capital losses exceed your capital gains, which is also very unlikely, you will still have to pay taxes on both types of income under Section 988. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more information.